A couple months ago, there was this VR Tarkov game that came out that killed several thousand Steam users by causing massive seizures. I'm about to vomit like six times over. But for those of us fortunate enough to survive this cyber attack, the game was really fun. Oh my god, it worked. Mainly because Tarkov in VR is just a fantastic idea. Is that you? Wait, who's in front of me? Who's in front of me? No, no, it's not us. It's not us. Oh my god, I just found a player with a ton of loot. Because part of what makes extraction shooters so captivating is VoIP, aka proximity chat, aka game chat. Those three different terms mean the exact same thing, basically just communicating with a stranger while pointing a gun at them with real consequences. Oh, come on, don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. Do not reach for your gun, okay? I know you can hear me. If you reach for your gun, I'm, I'm wasting you. But the thing is, communication isn't just verbal. This says a lot. So does this. And if you really want to make an impression, so does this. But you don't get to do that in flat screen games. So VR Tarkov had a surprisingly valid reason to exist. Walk all the way in that direction and leave? Or we're both going to like try and kill each other really fast. That's the only two ways this is going to go down. Okay? So there, no, you don't get this. There's no option. And because of this, most people could forgive the game for its quirkiness. And I was one of those people, happily playing the game as is. But as of last week, the game got an update that not only de-quirked it, but it also made it worth playing. So much better. If only Mike was playing with us. I know. I should text him. Oh For starters, the starting area is no longer a rectangle with locked doors everywhere. It's now a octagonal... A uh, hexagon looking thing. I didn't count the sides, but I'm sure I'll do that in post. Hexagon. Hexagon. And now everything is right next to each other. Ooh, look how much nicer this is. I know, right? It's perfect. They even got balls for you to play with. Which is so much more convenient. And weirdly, the lights run on gasoline that you have to pour into a generator on the second floor. I'm guessing that there's a way to turn the lights on. Which, side note, is a really smart thing to place in an underground bunker with no ventilation. Oh my god, you can see the gas. You can actually see it. But what this means is, is when you're down bad and you keep dying in raids, not only will you not have any guns to go play with, but you'll also lose power to your home and just wallow in darkness. It's so red. Everything is so red. That is hilarious. And what's even more hilarious is you can't just quit the game anymore. If you forget to turn off the generator before you quit, it keeps running. So this is what I came back to the day after the update came out. Oh, come on. I really like this mechanic. It's so unintentionally brutal, and it gives me something to look for besides violence when I go out on a raid. Uh, which one's which? Um, let me see. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, we can try and loot this church if you want. It's probably a bad idea. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's illegal to loot a church. Well, depends on your religion. Wow. I, I just want to know why he's holding a fish. Well, uh, this is actually very clearly a fish church. Look at all the the. Oh, you're right. Oh my God, this is a fish church. There's a fish fresco. Yeah, it's like Michelangelo painted fish. <laughs> Michael. Fish low. <laughs> pause. I'm going to pause the video right here. Please skip to this time code to get back to the content. I mean, you should know when the words Michael Fishelow leave my mouth, it's time to click away. There's no content here. And the amount of people who lose their minds when I don't abruptly pause a video like this to read off random names in the most obnoxious way possible for the 450th consecutive time is concerning. I wish I never set this up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I thought that this channel would stay small forever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a hobbit. It's fast and <laughs> I paid $1,600 to get you to play the Wizards and failed. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Praise the Lord, Lord. Thanks to me, Gabriel. Happy to read this. Happy to read this. Happy to read this. Happy to read this. Happy to read this.
And hips. Why hips? Where'd you come from? Hips got nips? What? Who are you? Stop it. Get some help. That's a player. That is a player. Looks like we got us a dub. I just really appreciate a good home base in a game. And now Ghost of Tabor has one. They give you like a money room? They give you a chair to sit in and just stare at your money. Wow. I like that. This is the type of stuff I like to see games focus on, is the reason to play. People get so sidetracked with, like, the actual game itself and just playing it and the mechanics, but I need a reason to. And that chair with a room full of money is all the reason I need. The only things left for them to add would be more visual polish. Oh wow, they updated the map. The, like, the textures are more colorful and painted on. Whoa. And maybe some Ghosts of Tablor. Get it? If they added lore, it would be Ghosts of Tablor lore, which you can you can shorten it to Tablor. I tweeted this. For a game that I play all the time, thanks to the content vampires that watch me play it unedited on Twitch, this is a big deal. Wait a minute. So did this not make it? No, no, it did. Okay, great. I shot it. Awesome. Off to a fantastic first raid. Yeah, there's a guy right there. Not a real guy, that's a computer. Or someone who walks very strangely. Should I try to take him out from here? Why not? Let's see. My hands are way too- oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, I'm so lucky I heard that. I will be playing this game on stream today, like usual, but thanks to the internet's complaining, Twitch has offered to let any creator have 70% of their subs if they can get 350 paid subs for three months in a row. And by the time this video goes up, Today is my last day. Oh man, I am gonna be the tacticoolest person in this raid. If I die, I'm never playing this game again. No, this is a perfect time for a hard cut. Upstairs, opening the door, I see him. Okay, I'm gonna move in. Oh shoot. Where's that get coming in, from? Get in, get in. Where's get that in coming from? Get in my bunker. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. Someone just died. There's gotta be somebody out there. I don't like this at all. I don't hear any footsteps. So one of two things happened. Either an NPC killed a player or a player killed an NPC. Footsteps. Right outside. Okay. He's going around the back. He's by me. Don't move. He might try to shoot through this hole. Did you see it? On the left side of the doorframe, barely visible on camera, a white translucent mist slowly creeps into frame. But to everyone in the future, and to everyone who doesn't care, I hope I at least killed some time for you while you did the dishes, or sat on the toilet, or any of the more exotic things you guys like to do, like chemotherapy. I see those comments, and to all of you, especially the ones in the last group, I hope something good happens to you today. Truly, wherever you are out there, whenever you are in the future. I think I just stole a candy bar from you. Okay. Where are you? Um, Look this is this. where I'm afraid to tell you I didn't bring in a candy bar. Alright. Huh. Oh, free candy bar. Okay. <laughs> it explodes. Uh. Thank you for the privilege of your time. Like this video if you want to, but love yourself no matter what. And if you give me the privilege of your time again, then I will see you possibly on like my fifth hour on Twitch. I'm not above doing a subathon to qualify for the 70-30 rev split. That is a big, big difference. It, it could be like Saturday night when you're watching this, and I really hope I'm not still live. But I guess only you know that, internet stranger. But it could be like 2035, and you could be an alien watching this. In which case, hi, goodbye. Listen, okay, you've got five seconds to turn around and run away. Five, four, kill him. Three, Super. hot, two, Super. hot, one.
All right.